we are getting set for the feud here in Feud City. The PV family may be playing for $24,000 if they win the game today. Gordons will play for $32,000 if they win. A grand total of $56,000 is up for grabs today. Of course, that's just being accumulated of these two totals. So now, ladies and gentlemen, with the banks scored away and set for both of these families, there's only one thing to do now, and that's play the feud. Here we go. Dave, Mike, join me at the podium for the face-off, please. If the bullseye round was a lot of fun today, I bet the feud is going to be even funner. We'll just have to see what's going to happen. The first family to win $300 will win the game and go on to play for their bank. We surveyed 100 people. The top five answers are on the board, and here we go. Name something you associate with a typical surfer. Mike. Oh, of course, you can't go surfing without that surfboard. There it is, the number one answer. Good going. Pass or play, Mike. All right, they're going to play this one, Dave. The PB family from Athens, Georgia. Not Greece, basically. Hello, Angie. How you doing? I'm just fine, thanks. $24,000 on the line for you folks if you win this game. Let's just hope it works out. Well, Angie, name something you associate with a typical surfer. Of course, yeah. I mean, they start out at the sands, then run out to the waves and all. It's got to be up there, the beach. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I thought it was up there. I'm sorry about that, Angie. Darn it all. Hello, Caleb. I never got to talk to you much during the bullseye round. What do you do? Oh, college, yeah. You gotta get the money to pay off those big expenses. I know how that can be. Well, Caleb, name something you associate with a typical surfer. Absolutely! I mean, what's surfing without them big waves? There it is! Wait, that's great! Wow! Hello, Anna. You're married to Caleb, are you not? How great is he as a husband, if you don't mind me asking? Well, that's terrific. Now, Caleb, slow your wool there a little bit. You notice that I did not kiss her hand because I felt this was going to come up. And to let you know, I have a little bit of a tender side of the cheek, too, just like John O'Hurley. Well, Anna, are you ready to play? Well, Anna, name something you associate with a typical surfer. A bathing suit, yeah. Well, yeah, I see your point in that, basically. The bathing suit! Shorts, that's acceptable, too. We'll take it. Good going there, Anna. Hello, Philip. What do you do for a living? Oh, big step there, and then you get into big college just like Caleb over there. Trust me, it will be tough. But, Philip, have you an answer? The ocean... Uh, wait a minute, that's already up there, Philip. Three seconds, Philip. Oh, two strikes. I know, it gets tougher along the way. That's the thing on these surveys. Mike, we're back to you. Name something you associate with a typical surfer. Two strikes. The Gordon family over there will have a chance to steal if you don't get this. They're bare feet. Now that's interesting. I like that answer. You don't want to get your shoes wet in that big blue salty ocean. So yeah, that's a good point there, Mike. If it is there, you're still alive. But if not, Gordon family has a chance to steal. Going surfing with your bare feet. Oh, that's three strikes. Sorry, you guys. Gordon family, chance to steal here. What will it be? What will it be? What will it be? Dave, they have some pretty good answers. I'll repeat the question for you. Name something you associate with a typical surfer. What have you to say? Using the term dude. Yeah, surfers use that all the time. Well, if it is there, then you get the points. But if not, PV's over there, they protect the bank for themselves and draw first blood in this game. Hey, dude! No! Oh, my goodness. Hmm. That was a good answer, though. I like that. But, you know, let's see the two answers no one knew. A typical surfer associates with number two. A tan. Aha, yeah. Spending time in the sun, and as they surf, they get a tan from the sun. Hmm. And number three. Blonde hair. Do I really need that? No, I really don't. I like the way I am. But I respect all the blonde-haired surfers out there. Angie, Kim, let's play. That seemed to be a pretty good question. I almost thought it was going to be a clean sweep, but I guess I was wrong. But this question, we surveyed 100 people. The top six answers are on the board. Remember, most popular answer. <laughs> oh, 
on, gosh! Angie, 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 Angie! Come on, Angie. Hey, calm down. Order the court, order the court! It's okay, Angie. Must be the tension under the lights, right? Don't worry about it, Angie. Wow. It's okay, just take a couple deep breaths. You'll be just fine, I promise. Once again, 100 people surveyed, top six answers are on the board, and I must say that this is a very appropriate question for you too. Name something every woman wants for her very own. Kim! A family, of course. Family! Not there. Angie. A husband. I like the sound of that. A husband. Number one answer again. Pass or play? Okay, Kim, they're playing. That was good. That's two times they got the number one answer. Man, you guys are good. Caleb. Name something every woman wants for her very own. Yeah. If you're looking to keep our future alive, absolutely. A child! Whoa! I guess not enough people said that in the survey. Sorry about that. Anna? Now that's a good one. That's a good one. Every woman deserves to come home into warmth and comfort and then probably put their feet up to relax after a long day. Home sweet home! There it is, number five. All right, good going, good going. Philip, what say you? A job to work, yeah. She needs a job. Oh, crud. Two strikes already. Mike, save the family. Name something every woman wants for her very own. Two strikes. Gordon family over there has a chance to steal if you don't get this one. You are the man, Mike. You are the man. I'll even say that again if it's up there. That way she can get to work. Remember, if it's there, you're still alive. But if not, you know I have to make a visit to the Gordons. Boom, boom, a car! There it is! You're still alive. You are the man. You are the man. Good going. Angie, I'm back to you again. Name something every woman wants for her very own. Absolutely true. Now, Angie, if it is there, you're still alive. But if not... The Gordon family again has a chance to steal to get away from it all a vacation. Oh no, sorry you guys. Gordon family, another chance to steal. Another chance here. Again, they're giving some good answers. Dave, name something a woman wants for her very own. Ah, to help herself become more attractive. Yeah, if it is there, you get the points. But if not, PV family again retains their bank. Let's get this lady some perfume! Oh my goodness! Hmm. I guess perfume wasn't the best, but Dave, you do think straight because the lady's terrific gift is a bottle of perfume. But there were some answers up there that we did not know, and I have a feeling that Joey may be up there somewhere. Number two, please. Diamonds. There it was! My answer was up there. Am I good or what? Just to let you know, folks, I do not have the answers on my card, just the survey questions. Number three, please. A fur coat. Well, to keep herself warm in the wintertime, basically understandable. A woman always wants number four. Money, of course. You know, it's absolutely something when somebody actually says that money can't buy love and money cannot buy happiness. That may be true, but it certainly does help the fashionable woman out. PV Family has a great lead at 86 points. Gordon and have yet to score, but we're playing the $300. Plenty of game left to play. We'll continue when we come back. Ladies, go get your diamonds, your money, anything. Just don't switch us off. Come on right back to the Family Feud. This is something